Okay, it's time to talk about the aminoglycosides, and these are um, protein synthesis inhibitors, and uh, for the gram-negative spectrums. So remember, these are bacterial cytal, and uh, there are three that are clinically relevant. We're going to talk about uh, gentamicin, tobramycin, and amikacin. So, and remember that these are most active against gram-negative bacilli. Uh, for example, Pseudomonas, and, uh, oh, someone's come to say hello. That's my pet giraffe. Anyway, the uses here are for the immunocompromised and those with uh, unstable gram-negative sepsis. So we'll talk a little bit more about this. So one of the things you have to watch out for with aminoglycosides is uh, nephrotoxicity and uh, um, this may happen if treatment continues uh, so uh, you have to watch out because it could end up with, uh, with uh, uh, renal failure uh, so you need to watch the urine uh, for cylindrical casts uh, uh, watch for proteinuria and inability to concentrate so another thing you have to look out for is ototoxicity so you can have irreversible hearing loss with vestibular damage and this is usually not apparent to the patient. Uh, one more thing that can happen is that uh, it can block acetylcholine release from the presynaptic nerve terminals and again this is usually not apparent um, with therapeutic dosing. So there we have it, the aminoglycosides, uh, things to know about, things to be careful. Remember that it's bactericidal and it's working against gram-negative uh, gram spectrum bacteria.